What up, YouTube? Welcome to my channel. I'm Anthony TV. Look, do me a favor, guys. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for me. Like this video and drop a comment if you got a comment, man. You already know I appreciate your support. And look, guys, check this out. Today, I want to talk about something that is very important. But before I get into today's video, I have to let you guys know I do not hate my job. <laughs> All right. I know a lot of the food service haters out there <laughs> that watch the channel. You guys were waiting on me to say something negative about food service. Not today. <laughs> hey, check this out, guys. I want to talk about how hating your job can really affect your overall well-being. All right. That's what I want to get into today. So look, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into today's video. All right, guys. So check this out. If you're working a job right now that you hate, that can be extremely detrimental to your overall health. Hating your job can literally create chronic mental illness. And not only that, it can also create physical illnesses as well. And what do I mean by that? You actually create anxiety, depression, things like insomnia, not being able to sleep at night because you're thinking about going to that place that you hate. A lot of times people handle depression and start eating more. That goes into what I was talking about affecting your physical health as well. Hating your job is a very serious thing it can cause a lot of problems for you. But today I wanna to talk about some things that you can do to give you a different perception as to how you look at your job, giving you a different viewpoint. And so that's what we're gonna get into today. Have you ever thought about looking at your job as maybe a business partner or a stepping stone for you to get to the next level in life? Where you are right now doesn't have to necessarily dictate where you're gonna be in the future. It's just a season. All seasons come to an end. Everything comes to an end at some point. So while you're at a job, be grateful. Be thankful that you have a job. I'm sure many of us live in cities right now that we can go downtown or different places in the city and see homeless people roaming the streets. God bless all the homeless people out there. But you have to think about your situation and be grateful that you're not one of them. If you have a job right now, be grateful. A lot of people are filling out applications every day trying to find employment. It's a lot of things in life that we take for granted. And if we lost them all today, I think we'll miss some of those things. Think about if you got robbed today and think about some of the possessions that you own. Think about if you lost your job tomorrow, where would that put you? Would you still hate your job? Would you want that job back? We got to start looking at some of the things that we're fortunate to have in life in a different lens. A lot of the things that we complain about, a lot of the things that we don't appreciate in life, there are some people in the world right now that are looking for those things, that are praying for those things that you take for granted. Understand that if you're at a job that you hate, it doesn't mean that you're gonna be there forever. It's up to you to change your circumstances. We got the power of choice. We got the power to choose what type of lifestyle we wanna have, what type of life we wanna live, what type of house we wanna buy, what type of car we wanna drive, where we wanna work. We're blessed to have a choice. Now, in order for us to obtain some of these things, that's gonna start with us. Developing some skills, developing some existing skills, investing, educating yourself on some things, creating businesses. So instead of looking at your job as something you hate, and bringing that home to your family. As much as you hate your job, try to appreciate your job. Try to appreciate the things that you have that so many others in this world wish they could have. I wanna read something to you guys real quick because I think this is gonna help you. This is really good. So it says, every day we use things that we would miss if they were taken from us or things that other people wish they had. Simple things like water, eyesight, health, food, heating, a family, a job, clean clothes, shampoo, etc. Try and pay more attention to the things you have rather than the things you lack. Society is to make us believe we need things, but in reality, we already have most of what we need. More stuff doesn't make us happier, more appreciation does. How powerful is that? I wanna read this quote real quick that I think is amazing. I'm gonna share it with you guys, man. It's a quote from Ralph Waldo Emerson. He says, cultivate the habit of being grateful for every good thing that comes to you and to give thanks continuously. And because all things that have contributed to your advancement should include all things in your gratitude. Listen, guys, you gotta be grateful. You gotta be thankful for where you are right now. You gotta be thankful for the things you have in your life. Appreciate 
what you have in your life. Don't take it for granted. Even if you have a job that you hate, be grateful that you have a job. Be grateful that you're able to earn income, pay your bills. Be grateful that you have a roof over your head, clothes on your back. You're able to put food on the table. All of these things. Be grateful that you have all your limbs. If you're somebody that's watching this video and you don't have all your limbs, but you're able to watch this video, be grateful that you have eyesight. So think about the things in your life that you have and not the things that you lack. Be grateful that you're able to hear. Too many times we think about all the negative things going on in our life and we neglect all the positive things in our life. Start thinking about the positive things in your life. Start thinking about the things that you have. I'm gonna share this one last thing with you guys real quick before I get out of here. It says, seeing opportunity and adversity is what will make you stand out as a resilient, reliable, and insurmountable. Look to perceive opportunity and adversity and you will never be held down. You will reduce the suffering caused by the situation and you will build resilience. It says there will always be valid contributors to a bad move, but we still need to own our situation. Figure out what's what and come up with a solution. This is true for our well-being. Blame is more often than not counterproductive, negative and distracting. In the vast majority of situations, the solution requires thinking in the present moment. Blame pushes you back into the past, all right? Let's not play the blame game. Let's figure out solutions. Being negative is not gonna change anything and don't stress over things that you can't change, all right? If it's out of your control, don't stress over it. You gotta figure out how to pivot and do something different that can give you a better solution to your problem. All right, guys, so look, that's what I wanted to share with you today. I hope you're able to get something from it. Let me know in the comments if it helped you in any way, if it touched you in any way, if it gave you a different perspective on life, a different viewpoint, let me know in the comments, man. Look, I'm gonna get ready to get out of here. Remember, do me a favor, man. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for me. Like this video and drop a comment if you got a comment. Until next time, I'll catch y'all on the next one, man. Y'all take care. Peace.